Welcome to Welly's World Podcast. I'm your host, Welly Jackson. Whole team in the building. You know that. My man, Alex Quo. What up, baby? Right here in the building. What's up? Alex Quo was here. How's everybody doing today? We good? You know I'm chilling. That's what's up. I like it. I like it. Ladies in the building. Lex, get it. What's up? What's up? It's Lex. How is everyone doing today? I'm feeling good. We got a special <laughs> guest in the building. Special guest. Okay. Uh, hi. Okay. I mean, this this young lady don't need no introduction. <laughs> give it a run. But I'm going to give her one anyway because I'm that type of dude. Okay. Yeah. Perth and boy, New Jersey's own. Mm-hmm. All right, Miss Vita Guerrera in the building. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? We good. I'm good. <laughs> doing the good. The weather was better. <laughs> <laughs> good to have you on board today. Good to have you on board today. Appreciate you coming thank by. Thank you for having me on the show. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for thank you for, for doing it. I appreciate you. Real quick, we let's get right into yeah, it. Where man. do we start? Where do we even start I, with this one? <laughs> at the beginning? <laughs> okay. I like it. So boom. I like to say you the originator of breaking the internet. Just because when I found when I found when I found Vita, it my my life changed. <laughs> I remember I was in college, I was a sophomore. It was a rainy day. My boy sent me a MySpace <laughs> message. Yeah, here it come. I was like, <laughs> here it come. What the fuck is this new message? Like, what is it, man? It was it was Vita. It was, it was, it was Vita. Bro. <laughs> What well, what would it say? If, if it didn't have no words, it was cheeks. I was, <laughs> yo, I was like, yo, till this That's day, till this day, I, oh, I'm still yeah. thinking him for that. And he's known about you ever since. That's yo, funny. she's been doing like this whole, you know, Instagram model thing. She's been doing this like, like from what I, I was introduced to her on MySpace back then. Mm -hmm. My and I, I haven't seen no drop off. Like she's been consistent. From I, from my standpoint, since 04, 05. That's lit. Damn, wow. That's crazy to me. A minute. Okay. That's okay. crazy to me because you see people like like uh Kevin Samuel say things like, oh, that Instagram, that social media model thing, that's seasonal. And then we have women like you who it's like, she ain't aging 15 years. Consistent throughout the times, yeah. Damn. Yeah, you look great. What's the secret to keeping up the, the, the those type of looks? Well, I mean, jeans pay, plays a big role in it. And if you see my dad, my dad is 77. Uh -huh. And I swear his texture in his face, I think it's better than mine. You know, and he's never done like a facial or anything. Wow. Um, so that is, you know, that is part of it. So I'm Afro-Cuban from my dad's side, right? Uh -huh. So, you know, black don't crack and uh -huh. letting people... Facts. Our skin doesn't crack. So I think I also, in 2009, I went vegan and I was vegan for a long time. Three years ago, I started to eat fish again. And now I'm just tr transitioning back to doing like raw vegan. And that's wow. where I want to go. And there, there's a, there's a lady named uh, Annette Larkins. She's like almost 80 years old. You guys should interview her. Right. She lives in Miami and you have to see how amazing she looks. So wow. food plays a big role on it. I think um, your state of mind, because I can go back on some pictures and I don't like the way I look and it's more of an energy, right? I remember what I was going through at that time. So that has, you know, a play too. And I think, I think I said it yes, yesterday, I was talking to my friend and uh, happiness is the, the, the best, cosmetic, uh, you know, makeup, surgery, whatever you want to call yes. it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, agree. I agree. When you're really happy and you're, and you're shining from within, I think that kind of goes with out. <laughs> Smil smiling keeps the bags from coming under your eyes. That's true. I, I believe um, that. That's true. <laughs> I believe smiling does cause like, you know, wrinkles and stuff. The way you smile. Yeah. The way you, yeah, right? D don't Wait, that's a thing? No, that's she just agrees. That's a thing? <laughs> don't agree. Yeah, with, uh, she, that's what Botox like is for. It's a meant to like keep I your face from like, you know, moving. She's a Grinch. Don't believe her. Okay. I, I don't believe anything <laughs> she says. I'm just saying it does. Like your facial expressions no. do. Yeah. She, she comes in here right. every day you mean. Know, like, there's some, there's some people when they get older they have like this mean look and they're just regular yeah. that means that for so many yeah. years they were like yeah. mentally like rigid and stuff and then 
that start, starts forming. He was trying to play me. That's what's going to happen to you for being me. So old, to play me. old, I'm ugly. You see this? Look, look. Don't yeah. Don't into that. <laughs> I, into I, that. Got you, I got you back. <laughs> Thank you. Guys. Mm -hmm. I didn't even. I never heard of this sign. So, <laughs> it's, one those, I never, it's one of those. It's one of those. It's really nothing to back that. it up. It's one of those women stick together things. To <laughs> I know what's going. I know. I feel the energy. Oh my God. So, Vita, how did that. you get into modeling? Um. Okay. So back in 2002, I was a loan officer, and I was working in Jersey and Hoboken, and that you, Hoboken. You, um. Uh, what the hell? It's by Hoboken. I can't even think of the we place. We Hoboken? Um, but anyways, I was, it was, oh, for, by Fairly Dickinson College, where we're, oh, Hackensack. Hackensack, Hackensack. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used to drive an hour from Perth Amber all the way to um, Hackensack. I was uh -huh. doing mortgages. And one day, one of my, uh, my ex-boyfriend's, one of his friends, we were at his house and he had like Stuff Magazine at that time when it was out. Um, he had, um, I don't think he had FHM, but he had Maxim and like a couple other magazines. And he's like, Vita, you should, you should, um, try to be in one of these magazines. See, like right now for girls on Instagram, they just put their picture up and it's different, you know, like yeah. back then I feel like so old, but back then it was like, you had to get picked to be on the magazine, right. you know, whereas here. You know, people just go on the mag, you know, on the on the on the uh, Instagram, and people I pay for followers, people pay mm. for likes. You know, so it's like, you know, it's interesting times. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, it's definitely crazy. I remember when oh shit when 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 we first started, when you started circulating in the colleges, it was a crazy time because it was like all of the women wanted to be you, and all of the dudes wanted to date you. So it was like, it was a lot of Spanish women at the school too. I got to put that out there. And they all <laughs> thought they were you. And we like, nah, not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she was the gold standard. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was like, remember when Pamela Anderson was the it girl and she was the Baywatch? Yeah. Bang, that. Oh, it was, everything was stopped. That She was everybody's goals. I remember that. And... It's like, so like now when you see like she stands the test in time, you know, it's like sh shit. show business is not an easy business to navigate, especially when you're a woman. Right. But for shit, I could count since 05. She's still been still been out here rocking and killing. What, what, what have you been up to these days? Like, I see you still modeling. But there's way more to that th nowadays, I know, because from me and you talking. Mm -hmm. um, well, in 2009, I became a Reiki healer. Right. So, you do Reiki? Um, energy work, but I don't do it as I heard about that. Um, so, okay, so in 2007, you know, I reached the, uh, 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 I guess... When I was a kid, I used to sign my name and like, oh, when I get older, I'm going to be a famous model. And my parents are like, what are you talking about? We had just been in the country for uh, two years and I'm like signing my name and they and everyone would be like, you're too short to be a model. I'm five two, And I'm like, well, I'm going to be a model one day. And then when I was 28 years old and I was doing mortgages, that's when um, my photos were submitted and I came out of, of the um and the magazines and then you know i i kind of didn't have a blueprint to follow so it's like you know how they say pioneers don't pay like in in that realm that i that i started doing it it was i mean i remember the first year i was like super famous and super broke you know that and, happens yes, too yes yeah you're yeah. giving me life right so like, now. Right now, if I, could, if I if I could have a wish, I would rather have like money, success, and nobody knows me than to be famous and broke and everyone criticizing you, judging you, saying, you know, what you are, projecting yeah. their own shit on you, you know? Yeah. I'm glad yeah. you brought up money because it's like, what type of money does a model of your stature, when, when you first started out, what type of money does that even bring in? Because it, we, we see the pictures, really but we don't know the financial behind that. Said yeah, it's, it's, it wasn't it wasn't making any money and uh, it was super hard times. And um, there was a point when my website was getting so many hits, about 15 million hits a month, which is oh. a lot. 
and, and, right. and honestly, I feel responsible for that. But go ahead. <laughs> yeah, he's 14 of the 15 million. All right. Look, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But see, in that in that time, um, had I known or had I had the right people around me uh, to guide me, and I could have been, you know, getting advertisement on my page and getting paid through that. So it was a lot of trial and error. But in 2007, I got to a point that I was like, okay, I wanted to be in the magazine and I'm here. Um, I felt like um, like I reached a certain level and I started to get indecent proposals and things like that. And I wasn't willing to um, sacrifice my soul. So in 2007, I kind of stop modeling and was more focused on doing inner work and healing and being on a spiritual journey. And interesting. Okay. I kind of has been doing that till now as we speak and kind of having my foot one foot in the door and one foot out the door of the business because like for instance, I don't drink alcohol, so I'm not gonna do an ad of like tequila. Like that was like one of the ads. You know, right, it's just right. I I wouldn't do a Coca-Cola ad because I wouldn't want, I know what Coca-Cola does to people's bodies. So I wouldn't do that. So when you start having so much, so much integrity in this business, you don't, you can't make any money, you know? Yeah. So see, see, in, that's, no, go ahead. Right. In, in, in the spiritual journey, it's like finding like, what is my next move? What is it that I'm supposed to do? What is my purpose in this life? You know? No, yeah, you're absolutely right. Like I'm, I'm very spiritual, but if Pepsi and Coca Cola holla at me, I gotta go do that. That is <laughs> a different matter. type of money. <laughs> like I, I believe in Illuminati. I submitted my paperwork. I'm just waiting for the approval. You know what I mean? Did you find like maybe there was like a turning point with like everything that you was trying to do? Like you had mentioned that you started your spiritual journey, but like. Maybe in the beginning, did you have a moment where you were just like, all right, you know, I'm going to try this modeling thing. But then all of a sudden you're just like, whoa, like this is actually taking off. Like where you just kind of like from we went from point A to like point Z, kind of like a huge jump. Well, I mean, I was just I was just modeling and just like if the magazines were calling me to to, you know, appear in the magazines and the Spanish channels and TV shows, they were all calling me and I was just doing that. But um you don't you don't get paid it wasn't until like i started opening my website and i was selling merch and stuff like that that mm -hmm. i started to get paid like and now girls are making a lot of money but at my the time it's kind of like what i said about like if you're like one of the first ones to do it there's no there's no blueprint to follow so right. and at, at at first it was viewed as you know too sexual too sexy or whatever it is and now you see how the, you know social media. Is. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of you know, out of control. And now it, it's acceptable, or you know. I firmly believe so social media would not be the way it is today if it wasn't for you. Also, Kim Kardashian probably wouldn't be modeling and taking the picture she takes yeah, if she it did. wasn't for for literally for you. Like I, I see her doing the same thing I seen you doing back in '05. You understand what I'm saying? So I think you're responsible for this whole Instagram, social media, all of these challenges and all that. That you originated that. You do you do know that? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's like, well, she's like, well, shit. All right. Because <laughs> it's like I don't pay my bills. So. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I figured that. But it's like like this came out of nowhere who was the first one to do it and everything in my head it, it, it all comes back to you you see what i'm saying which actually brings up a pretty good interesting point too so you've seen it all like you were there kind of in like the cre when social media like before it blew up when it blew up and now we're like in those social media times how have you like i mean because you're still relevant even to this day so it's like how have you Despite the times changing, like the trends changing from like Facebook to Instagram now being on top. Was well, there anything that you've like personally done to sort of like stay on top of everything to make sure that, you know, that you're still kind of in, I guess, in front of everybody? No, I mean, I'm just myself and I don't have like I don't need external validation as part of like doing the inner work mm -hmm. um, for me. I didn't get on Instagram until 2013. Oh, and wow, okay. um, and Instagram, I think, started, what, like, 2009 or something? 
I think. I don't know. When I was on there. Whenever, whenever it was, started, I was oh, on was, there the next you, day. You, you was there that fast? Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> nah, I gave it some time. I yeah, didn't make sure it wasn't I whack. Was, I didn't want to be part of that. You know, I thought it was weird, you know, especially like if you have stalkers and stuff like to be like, I never post exactly when I'm there or, you know, the day of or whatever, because it's just. You, you it know, makes sense. Safety. Yeah. Safety. <laughs> you never know. Like when, when whenever I post that I'm somewhere please believe i'm in the bed like i'm not there no more. like i'm it might have happened yesterday like I, po I, I posted something today and somebody hit me up like hey when was this i was like man that was friday <laughs> Y'all out there. like i ain't be doing your post no, after because I, I do that just because ti said something that that stuck with me he was like he was like my window he goes in atlanta you know it's illegal to have tinted windows he goes but i'm always going to tint my windows he said, I just can't assume everybody that knows me likes me. I can't. I don't have that that luxury. So it's like people know who I am. I can't assume everybody like me. You know what I mean? I don't nah, know. fuck that shit. If I post something, I'm right there. I'm just no, I'm there right then and there. Like that. Pull up. I'm here. Like if I if I let you at McDonald's drive through, come through. We get hey. Big Macs. That's me. That's my energy. Crazy stalker girl. He's a rookie. No, it's all right. If she, she wants a Big Mac too, she can pull up. I'm it's there. A, it's Just, a rookie move. You know he where I'm at. It. You know where I'm at. Yes. I he need to let everybody know. I'm here today, right now. Yes. That's what, that's okay, what I do. When you get older. <laughs> yeah, he, he's 26 years old. He doesn't know anything. What, what, what does he know? You know I'll tell you what I know. I know where I'm at. That's where I know. Right. Exactly. And everybody else know it too. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. So, like, back in the day when you started versus now, guys were kind of hard on you girls, like uh, the video vixens, the models. Guys were super hard on y'all. Now, it's like if you don't have an Instagram model, a video vixen, that's kind of frowned upon. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I noticed it's come full circle now. But how did you deal with a bunch of the backlash that you've had when you started? Mm. Um, as far as what, like guys, just like uh, negative negativity okay. from men. Um, it's part of like going within, you know, like going into the the journey. Because if I I I grew up, um, my parents didn't teach me. My mom and and dad, well, not my dad so much, but my mom, like she cares of what other people think or whatever. So I had to go and learn not to care about what other people think. Mm -hmm. I had to learn that I don't need someone's validation. I had to learn that people have their own shit and they project it on you. And what someone says is not your truth, you know? So kind of had to learn all that kind of the hard way. Damn, that's that that's mature. See, yeah, women are like, women are way more mature than men. Especially when you're an innovator in the industry, well, I'm too. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. See, if you would have said you were 19, nobody would have questioned it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you you don't look that. I wasn't gonna put it you're out lying. there. I no, not actually dead ass. <laughs> he not like because I was thinking the same thing. I'm thinking like, yo, he calling me young. I'm like, you you the old one here. That's what I was thinking, but nah, it's you but but here's the thing though, because he touches on a good point, because it's like you're, you're one of the innovators in the industry. Real talk. So it's like there has to have been, at least in the beginning, like a lot of like hurdles you had to cross through that. Like if somebody today was to be like, yo, I want to get into modeling, like they don't have to go through the certain barriers that you had to go through. You know, do you see that it's different or the game's changed more so now than it was when you first started? I, I feel like, um, see, like when girls ask me, like, how do I get into modeling? For me, it happened because. I submitted my photos, the magazine called me. And then because it was such a huge success from the first, from the, from the jump street, mm -hmm. all the magazines kept calling me. So I wasn't in like an agency ad, like trying to find work. I basically was just basically doing me and like whatever came to the plate. If it's, it was in within my integrity, then I would do it. If not, then I wouldn't. That's the uh, thing. Yeah. She says integrity. A lot of people don't have that these uh, days. A lot of people don't have that. Either. Like, like, like me. I'm doing that Coca Cola shit. I don't drink <laughs> soda at all. But mm -hmm. if Coke says Welly, we need some funny shit. Let's get it. I'm doing fucking champagne showers with Coke on my. Fuck. <laughs> 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 you, you gonna sell That's a lot of shit. money, son. I wish I could 
care like that, you know. But like, if I if I if I know better, I gotta do better, you know. You know, but, you're a better person than me. I'm telling you. <laughs> he just came out and said it. You're no. a better person than me. By I ain't shit. I know. <laughs> Mountain Dew. I haven't drank Look, Mountain Dew since I was six. Decent proposal for ten million dollars, a house, and three cars, and I said no. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. We can't again? speak yeah, wait, wait, wait. about that. Say, that, say what you said again. I had a decent proposal for $10 million, a house, and three cars of my choice. All right, but it was it was an indecent proposal, which means... Which means what? It, it, it was some foul shit. It okay. Was some, she are they still hiring? Yeah. It was a... <laughs> She's trying to be <laughs> nice. She's trying to was, tell you. Are they still hiring? It's, <laughs> he said it. I, I can do it. He said it three times. Indecent proposal? Uh, if, if it's, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> what, what do they need? No, actually, it was it was um, an older uh, man. Um, at the time, I was like 30, 31. And he was like 50, 52. And he was married and had kids. And wanted me just to be the side woman. And like some people were like, you don't got too much. I'm like, no. And let me just tell you, in 2014, in June of 2014, I woke up one day and I um, was going to San Antonio to do a hosting for two um, hosting uh, jobs and a wedding. And when I was on the airplane, I started as soon as the plane took off, I started to hemorrhage all over the place. And oh I was um, I was rushed to the hospital when I got to San Antonio. I had, um, you know, once they'd done the, like all the tests, whatever, I had a fibroid that was causing me to just bleed like crazy. It was my uterus. And the doctor's like, oh, you have to take your uterus, uterus out. And this is when I turned 40 years old. And I was like, no, how about if I want to have kids or whatever? And I, and then he just gave me a shot of Depo and he's like, your period's going to slow down. And then when you get back to California, just go to the doctors and, you know, do the test or whatever. I went, I came back to Cal California and I was moving to Florida and I drove cross country to Florida. My, the, the blood had stopped. Um, it was very little that was coming and when I got to Florida, all of a sudden I started hemorrhaging again and I bled oh, for 131 days. Wow. I had to get three surgeries and a uh, blood transfusion because my hemoglobin dropped down to 6.2, which you could die from. Yeah, yeah, that's I well, couldn't yeah. walk two steps without being able to breathe. And um, that that was like one of like the darkest times of, of my life that I had to experience that. And I remember when going under anesthesia and like, like, God, I'm good. Like if you're ready, if, if there's a kid that's going to lose his job, I mean, his job, his life, I'm going to, I want to switch with them so they can live a full life and I'm ready wow. to go. I'm good. You know, no. and that's where, and three times I came back. I mean, I asked three times every time I went under anesthesia. And I mean, the last time I woke up and I had, you know, oxygen and, in a catheter because they they were pumping so much fluid into me. So I almost didn't make it the last time, but clearly God has other plans for me. I'm just here trying to figure it out. Wow. <laughs> no, that's definitely, that's definitely heaven sent. I understood what you meant when you said indecent proposal. He kept pushing. I'm like, bro, what if you, do you want to be the side dude? <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, how, how much for money? 10 was million? It? You want to be somebody's for, side dude? For 10 million. I could be, I could be a side fries with some nuggets. I don't mind doing that. To a dude? <laughs> hey, hey, 10 mil? Yeah. <laughs> wow. See, he's a different type of dude. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just want, let's read the Bro. contract. All I say is, let's, let's read the contract. What does the side dude do? Does he stand on the Fuck you think he do? I don't know. I, I got to ask the question. I, hey, I'm a firm believer. Hey. Around, right. Boom. When uh -huh. he gets tired of his wife, he going he coming to hit that. He coming uh, to hit that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ten okay. mil. Boom. <laughs> Dropping whatever you want. Living wherever you want. <laughs> <laughs> when he ready, Same toot way. that thing up. <laughs> That's what he want. So I, I, he got me spelling it out. You know what he right, mean, right, man. Well, Ten mil though. I, I just want to read the contract. 
<laughs> I just want to read the contract. Oh Everything God. deserves a good read. I just want to read the contract. That's all I'm saying. So you gave for pay? No. All I, <laughs> all I said. Not Vita. You understand me, right? I, I just want to read. She it. don't <laughs> understand you. I just she said read. no. No. I, 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 I'm, I'm educated. I just want to read. Everything deserves a good read. You know, the cat wow. in the hat was a good read. It doesn't mean I'll read it right now, but it's a good read. I just want to read it. Just, just let me read. Right. You gonna negotiate your buns, bro? <laughs> I just want to read the contract. Look, hey, it's ten mil. It deserves a good read. Now, I don't, I don't, dis I don't disagree with what you did, Vita, at all. Ten mil, he's gonna wear your ass out. Okay, now that's in the contract. We can discuss the contractual obligations. If, if he's going, if it says in the contract for ten million, I'm gonna wear your ass out. <laughs> then, we, then we're gonna talk about it. I feel like that is just. A, Bro, I'm all about. If that was the contract, would you? Uh, uh, well, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, what if it well, wasn't in the contract and he just said, come over, well, I want to <laughs> shoe shot. I'm going to need my lawyer present before I agree to anything. <laughs> Yo, you know? Cole, I'm going to need my lawyer. I'm going to need my lawyer. Oh. That's all I'm saying. We're going to talk about what? this on my terms. But I agree Bro. with what you're saying, though. Definitely stay true to what but you the, believe in. The, the money is good and all, but think about it this way. You have to live with yourself and your decisions for the exactly. rest of your life. You got exactly. to look at your up in the, in the mirror like there's people that are they have money but they're miserable inside because of what they did to get that money yes mm. i know plenty of people I, I like that a very simple life because i like to me you know having um a birkin bag a freaking uh what are the other shoes that the, the louis vuitton whatever that that is that's not going to give me my happiness, my internal happiness. Mm. Right. That's good, you too. Know? And you separate it, you know, being, you know, like accumulating wealth and being happy. Not so many people pair the two together. You just did. You, you literally just I, oh, did no, that. No, no, no. That's I what said, you just no, did. No, no, no. You said, back me up. Back me up. I said, no, I want to no, read no, the contract. No, no. I said, I want to read the contract. She said she would not do nothing like right. that. And she read the contract. So so it makes sense. It makes sense. Bro, you put your cheeks on the line for a price. <laughs> All I said was. That's, first off, read. that's prostitution. I'm, highly I'm a reader. The law. I'm a reader. I don't, I'm not a fighter. I'm, I'm a reader. I'm a read. I, I read. <laughs> I read a lot. I read people. I read books. I read contracts. So that's what I'm going to do. Lord, so, forgive him for he know not what, what he last, say. What, what was the last book you read? Um, Goosebumps. He uh, don't read. <laughs> no. Goosebumps. No, I, I read some nutrition facts the other day. So there, there's, there, there's that. I read some nutrition facts. Oh, yeah. Zero, zero Harry, salt content. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I didn't right? read those books. I watched those movies. That was, uh, those, those, you could hurt somebody with those books. You could hurt somebody with those books. Those, those are massive. Especially Order in the Phoenix. Oh, God. Shout out. See, to the that. thing is, people think it's all about money. The two richest men in the world, they're both single. Jeff Bezos and yep. Bill Gates, both divorcees. I'm starting to realize, like, I listen to women. That's my thing. I listen. You know what I mean? Like, how can I get to know you if I'm not even listening to you? So I make sure I make it my business to listen to women. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you see his thing. He listens too damn well. Like yeah. he, he'll listen. He'll listen to every single. There's some things you'll just kind of say underneath your breath that you're hoping nobody hears. Nope. No, he heard that, and yeah. he's gonna bring that shit up when you have an argument. That's what I learned. That's, that's what arguments that's, are that's for, right? That he that's, do. The, that's the real, real. He exactly. Said, that's, that's the real, real. <laughs> so. My whole life, women been saying it's not about money. It's not about money. The two richest men in the world are both divorcees. I'm starting to believe it's not about money. You still got a chance, brother. Uh, no, I still think it's about money. <laughs> I, I, I definitely still think it's she about money. She just told you it's not. Well, look, this is what happens: is is every relationships have an expiration date, Ooh, right? That's deep. I like whether that. it be like a, a you know a person passing or. Um, you're not growing together. You're kind of growing apart. And before, back in back in the days, people used to stick together. Uh, mostly were women, right? They weren't as educated. They weren't as successful. So they kind of just stuck in relationships to, you know, you know, support the family. Yeah. Um, where now women are, you know, rising up and they're making money and they're, 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 they're getting very independent. And so, you know, sometimes when um, a couple gets together, so like the ones that you mentioned, these guys were at a different pay scale, different set state of mind. And as you grow, you know, whether it be financially, mentally, physically, if a person that you're with, your partner has to reflect that and you guys are not working 
towards the same way, then you're just going to start falling apart until, you know, people decide that that's it. They're going to go their separate ways. I mean, sometimes like for the two people that were that were divorced, I mean, sometimes we don't know everything that's going on. It could have been a this power is true. Move. Yeah, that's true, too. That's true. They got billionaire problems. I don't we don't know those things. Yeah. And so um, it's just interesting times that we're living in right now. Definitely. So <laughs> Sounds like- with that being said, are, are you in a what, what is your status? You in a relationship? You single married? Um. Well, technically, I'm married and getting a divorce. Um, okay. Okay. Um, it didn't work out. I, I got married when I was 44 years old, and I got engaged after one month. Um, I knew him for six months, and I had no desire to be with him or anything. And then all of a sudden, we're dating, and then a month later, we're you know engaged, and then two months later, we're married. And you don't really know someone until you live with them. Facts. Yep. True. What happens is a lot of times is people send in their representative. Very you know? true. And mm. go buy a car and the, the car is all messed up, but they're going to tell you the car is great. And you buy the car and then you realize that it's not so great. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, we were just in like totally different realms different like we were so different in so many ways we're we're friends uh but i could not be married to to him and i don't think um you know growing up like my mom's like you gotta get married you gotta get married you have to have kids and i just never felt like i wanted to that's why i got married at 44 and i kind of did it i settled I, i did it without thinking i knew it wasn't a good idea going into it it's my it's it's my own fault. And for the last three years, I kind of been um, um, punishing myself because of the mistake I made, even though I came out a different person, wiser and better. If that makes no, sense. That's but definitely- now, like I'm filling out, uh, you know, those forms. I got to hit divorce instead of just single, you know, right, yeah. and that, I was trying to get it annulled, but. It's not it's not work out. I got <laughs> so you. So it has to be worse. But I mean it's a you know, one of those that you go your way, I go my way kind of right. Divorces. And at the end of the day, you learn from the situation. As long as you learn from it, I feel like it's not a loss. Yeah. But you know, I mean it, it, it's kinda like, you know, you're going on a journey and then it kinda like I took a detour, it kinda took longer and now I'm just working on myself and trying to get back to where I was before that, but wiser. Definitely. So, with that being said, is it okay? Uh, so, is it okay for dudes to shoot their shot? <laughs> that, that that's where he was really. I'm going asking for it. the streets. The <laughs> streets want to know can they shoot their <laughs> shot? That's all. That's all I want to know. I mean, um, like, I mean, right now, I'm not even like it's not even a thought in my mind, you know, because you know they say that the level that you are at, that's what you'll attract. And right now it's not where I want to be. So see that's so I don't want to attract that that person into my life. Well, you know? Law of attraction. That's a real thing. But to get into like uh I would never get married ever again. <laughs> never ever again. No more marriage. Damn, nope. for real. She doubled down on that too. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's. Who say? Oh, don't say that. You, never you say know that now. Don't about. worry. You go. You go. You gonna be down on sunset at a bar <laughs> at a club or something. Night, little little light skinned dude with, with good hair. He gonna come up on you. So what's up, man? Da, da, da. <laughs> Next thing you know, you in Vegas getting married. Like, what are you doing? I don't know, but it's gonna be fun. And then boom, that's how it's gonna happen. Yeah, are you open? To maybe that ever happening again, though? Like, all right, so you say no. I, I heard you the first time. But it's like, I if know. the situation just happened to unfold a certain way, would you just cut it off? Or yeah, like- I mean, I'm not, I'm not completely closed off, but I'm not completely open. Okay, all right, see, that's, that's a fair <laughs> It can answer. happen. It, give it time. Answer. Give yeah. it time. It's too soon. Yeah. Six months, we revisit this question, and I guarantee you we got a different answer. <laughs> I said, know it. You, you I, know, okay. they, they say, be the change you wish to see in the world, and everything starts with yourself, right? So mm-hmm. I have to work on myself and get myself back to where I am completely in 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 peace within myself. Um, and then if 
if something happens, then then yeah, of course I'll be open. See, that's see, she she's really mature. Women are really mature. Guys, we'd be like, fuck it, broke up yesterday. I'm horny. <laughs> Let's go back. I'm here, back in the street. I'm ready to go. But What's she's up? just like, nah, not right. Nope, no. Nope. That's the smart way to go about it, bro. That's that spiritual journey she's talking yeah. about. Yeah. That's that's that just shows that you're you're spiritually educated in the sense that like you know it starts with you. And then mm -hmm. from that, you'll attract the people you want close in your life. That's good. Yeah, no, nah, that's that's smart. That's smart. So, so I, now I'm in like transitional state in my life. Like I'm 47 years old. Like, what is my next move? What am I doing? Um, you know, my parents are getting older. They live in Florida. They want me to come to live in Florida. Do I stay in California? Do I move to Florida? You know, like there's so many other things that are like very important for me to decide what I'm doing that. I have to do those things and then in order for, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I can't be open to a, a relationship, let's say here in California. And then all of a sudden I have to go take care of my parents because they're getting older in Florida. Right. You know, yeah, I, I don't like long distance relationships. And so, yeah, that's where I'm at. No, that made, that makes perfect sense. So, so what type of guys is v are Vita, uh, what type of guys are Vita Guerrero into? Uh, a conscious man. Okay. So I now when you say that, when like, you say, like he's awake, like he's breathing, or like like what you mean? Like, like do you you mean like common like talib quality? They conscious. Yeah. Someone that is whole and complete within themselves. Some all right, I got right? it. eliminated. So, like, Boom. <laughs> he's done. No, 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 he's wait, 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 he's wait, finished. She, she let her elaborate. Go ahead, go ahead. That so, was it. Like, it made perfect sense what you're talking about. You know, when people are like in all these like love movies that I used to think, like watching all these movies, like, oh, you complete me. No, you have to be complete and whole within yourself. <laughs> oh, I like that, that no matter what is going outside of you, what storm, you are st standard, you know, standing right in where you are. So you have to be whole and complete within yourself that no matter what the outside world is going on, whether you're in a relationship, if, 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 if let's say, um, let's say if a person is, is, uh, you know, like some women love for guys to compliment them yeah. that's because they, they're, they're not, com they're not complimenting themselves, you know, uh, it's nice, but it, you have to like, not need external validation. <laughs> No, yeah, no, that, and and see, looking at you, people would think that you're that type. Like, oh, that I have to con Look, constantly. I'm like a walking, I'm a walking contradiction. Like I'm people like always that. put a category that I'm not, and I just I laugh because it's like, okay, then I could just tell their level of consciousness. Right, you know? mm. that just shows you where their head is at. Get to know me and, and, and talk to me one on one and look at me in my eyes. You know that. It's a whole different ballgame. Definitely. So I like that. I want to get into some rumors. You, okay. you, I want you to clear these rumors up. Let's get started. Oh, Start she ready for it. All right. All right. I like cool. that. I like that energy. <laughs> I like that energy. So you did Playboy. Now, sure. rumor has it for <laughs> great. Listen, great body of work there. Great body of work. But. <laughs> <laughs> Rumor has it you did Playboy because your photos, your phone was hacked and some photos of yours leaked. Is that why you did Playboy? Yes. Well, they had been asking and then that happened with the with the photos. So then I said, well, I might as well do a photo shoot of it. Right. It's but, out there. Let's put makeup on and do it. Awesome. Good, good lighting. I like that. Take advantage of the situation. Yeah. Also. Yeah. So you're rumored to have dated Derek Jeter. This was the prime of his career. Does Derek Jeter make his girlfriend sign NDAs? I didn't sign one. I mean, but this is before he like really, he actually blew up the year that um, I met him. Like I didn't even know it was him. Oh, Wait, okay. really? Because see, yeah, because oh, in, wow. in New York, we, we thought Derek Jeter, the day one, he was the shit. But I understand what you're saying. It was a, a, a like, you know, he, he we went from a star to a superstar at one point. I know exactly what you mean. So how long did you yeah. guys date? 1997. I think he made like some some uh, 
catch or some something that saved the game and yeah. then he just became you know a big star it was that throw he did when he was going towards third base and he did the over. You shoulder. remember that? I, I see that. I see nothing. Yeah, the that's what I was that's thinking. What it, was. Too. it was that yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. And then when he fell into the stands, he was doing everything in like 2001. Yeah, yeah he was doing everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, nah, nah. So, so how long did you guys date? Um. Well, I met him at the end of June of 1997, and um, I stopped dating him like December of that year. Oh, he started dating. My you know <laughs> no that's cool that's cool no nah, i was because i remember i remember hearing that and i'm like oh wow i thought that was that was it boom this perfect this is the perfect hollywood story right here but well oh. this is before i came out in magazines so at the time that i was dating him i was working for a company uh called ge capital and i was doing uh computer support so i was a tier one um help desk and then I was tier two in New York City. I was working on uh, 53rd and Park Avenue at the Lever building. You know, like the Lever 2000 soaps. That oh, was one of our So yeah. you, you doing uh, computer support for them. So you mean to tell I, me? Wait a minute. Technician, I fix people's computers. So a word? So you, you I, yeah, yeah. Now, wait a minute. Job. My shit got some issues. Go ahead. Go well, ahead. That's because you, you <laughs> got the viruses <laughs> clicking on that bullshit. Now, wait a minute. I'm like, I'm like 40s. Now nah, my shit, my shit's been running a little slow, so I can just send it over to you in California. And you you fix that shit right up. Not anymore. Not anymore. I mean, you can take a look. <laughs> so <laughs> you were dating the Prince of New York City at the time. Yeah. Some people say the King of New York City, and going to work still. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Like, well, I mean, he never like brought me anything. I mean, the only the the. Like we would just go out to eat dinner and it was always like a group of people. Um, like he didn't buy me a gift. I mean, we went we went on a on a, a cruise, like a Yankee cruise, which he didn't Also oh, shit with the job. He's a cheap motherfucker. <laughs> no, it's the job crazy, shit. Right? No, you don't you wasn't on the cruise, man. You don't know. <laughs> Come on. It's the, it, he plays for the Yankees, it was a yeah. Yankee cruise. That's job shit. I mean, well, what the crew look like? So what would you take her on? <laughs> shit, did, did, did the Yankee crew still running? It's, 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 she done did that already, man. Right, well, I mean, shit. I would, I would back to that conscious thing. He's not even ready to. Eat it. I'm still teaching nah, him. What would you like? What you like? No, nah, it's what, no, you like salad. At the time, and I were both 22 years old. Ah, and, they, uh, ah babies. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Babies. I met um, outside of Cheetah Lounge. Remember Cheetah Lounge? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now where's that? Yeah, yeah, no, nah, I went. I went there back was, in college. Yeah, it was first or something by Justin's. Yeah, I don't even know that round still. Nah, Justin's so, yeah. is finished. But yeah, wow, yeah. that's crazy. Derek is cool. Derek is actually a goofball. He's really funny. He's he's a nice guy. I don't have anything bad to say about him. He's very focused and like he knew what he wanted and it does exactly. I remember him telling me when he retired, whoever he was gonna be with. That's who he was gonna get married and have kids, and that's what he did. Mm. So, you know, he's he um, baseball was always like number one to him, and he wanted to be a Yankee since he was two, uh, 12 years old. So he's 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 a nice guy. I mean, so at at, at the, the point that I dated him, he was dating other women as well. You know, he's uh. was the king or the prince or whatever you want to say of New York. You know, he was still People in the streets. Just, Girls like throwing their panties at him. It was crazy. Yes, it was. It was it crazy. Was, we didn't have a, an exclusive one on one, like, you know, okay. intimate. So, so coming out of that relationship, then, does that kind of, did that sort of deter you from wanting to be in another relationship with somebody? I, I guess I could say somebody famous or just like somebody who's just well known. Or were you kind of looking for somebody more low key? You know what I'm saying? Does it kind of, well, that had no impact on you whatsoever. That had no impact. It's, it's more of a the person. Mm, okay. So, not. I mean, it's harder, right? Um, when it's someone at that level, because there's other things that I guess come first. You know, mm -hmm. what there has to be like a strong bond and connection. You know, definitely. Two year kids. At twenty two, like, just having fun. I didn't know who he was and he didn't tell me who he was and then <laughs> i'm driving on the turnpike and i look at some billboard and it's like a watch billboard and i see him and me and my friend are like what 
Ah, uh, you know? oh, you had no clue who he was. Ah, oh, you just thought he was a nice guy. I got you. Mm-hmm. That makes sense, and I, I I perfectly understand that. So yeah, being that like a woman like you, I'm sure you must get tons of offers, tons of guys. What are some of the crazy things that guys DM you? <laughs> oh, he want the secrets. I like that. That's yeah, I want to know how crazy dudes question. is going. <laughs> Say it again. Dick pics. Oh, that's oh you crazy. get the dick pic DM? That's not even fair. They're just going straight to the chase, huh? What now, the hell? See, because yeah. guys think okay. that women like that shit. I've never seen that work. I've never seen a woman like, oh my God, I, I got a dog I, I never. I've no. never you seen. Know, I guess guys, if they see a girl with a big ass, a big booze, they're, they don't care, you know? They go crazy. Right? That's not even how you do it. You you got to de- this is how you get her. This is how you get her. Can I, can I give you the blueprint? I mean go <laughs> you got it. I got the blueprint. <laughs> you got the blueprint. Go ahead. Watch her reaction. You just DM her 333. <laughs> Boom. Got what, it. What? Boom. Wait. <laughs> wait. But what, what does that mean? What does that mean? Wait. Hold on. What does that mean? What does it mean? I don't understand. Talk to my phone. No, he's talking about because I see a lot of synchronicities and numbers. Seven, and seven, always, seven. Seven, 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 like all these numbers. <laughs> nah, I think the dick pic sound better than that. What the fuck are you talking about? That shit don't even sound right. Ooh, he talk, the he dick said, pic go, he he said, sends you some numbers? That, what does that mean? <laughs> you think she's not playing Powerball? She's right. fine. Why, why, why? That's what she's I, been I, telling I, you. She's not playing Powerball. She's she's okay. I'm not sending her numbers. What am I going to do that for? What the hell? Guys that like oh my my girlfriend doesn't let me follow you but they still follow me anyway so it's funny like i have my my followers but then i see my impressions are like in the millions but i don't have i don't even have a million followers yeah, you it's know? like triple so, yeah so people are watching you know uh and they're not following but they're watching there's there's guys that are like trying to talk to me i go click on their their link and they're they have they're in a relationship. Wife, kids. Now, oh damn! <laughs> no shame. And send it to their significant other, but you know, not not my circus. No, well. you got your head on straight, so you you know how to navigate through it. Switching gears, we seen we just had Elon Musk host Saturday Night Live. Like, I mean, I'm in show business. I look at that differently. Because Elon, he's not even in show business. He's in tech. But SNL is considered like, they say that's the that's the pinnacle. Like, I want to know, how do you feel when you see things like that? Like, he's not a comedian. He's not an actor. Why is he hosting that? How do you feel about when you see stuff like that? Well, I don't know because I don't watch TV. But, um, you don't watch TV? Wow. No, I that's I mean, a- I didn't have a TV for, for from like 2011 to 2018 by Holy choice. Shit. I was reading instead, instead of watching TV. Bro, right? she's mad mature. If you're, look, if you're, if you're watching TV. TV, look at this. If you're watching TV, if you t- that movement that if, that hour, two hours, three hours that you're watching TV, you could have taken that time to invest in, in learning something or growing within yourself you're watching other people live their dreams yeah yeah you're sitting there yeah but i'm watching, watching it in 4k I, I got i got that 4k <laughs> tv i'm watching i'm watching they live their dreams like i'm there with them you know what i'm saying that's that got that you need to get that hdr shit that high definition resolution you know, you know, it's, it's just look i was i i was born in cuba we escaped um mm-hmm. we only had one tv my dad was the controller of the tv I didn't get to really watch TV and stuff like that. So I kind of just created my own little world. So wow. how does one escape? I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm so different than you like probably expect. It, it, see, nah, it's it's, it's really fucking his head up. Nah, that's why he can't sit still. No TV. But, Shit. So how does one escape <laughs> Cuba? I've heard about people defecting from Cuba, but I've never spoken to someone who's done it. How, how does that even happen? It was crazy. Um, so my dad, when he was 18, he mm-hmm. tried to escape Cuba with his brother, his brother's wife and um, two of her kids. And she was pregnant with the kid. And they 
there was a plane that was going to get hijacked from Cuba to go to Miami. Um, so my dad was in the, in the, in the plane as well. Um, so basically like, it was like a group of people were like, Oh, we're going to hijack the plane. Hey, people that want to go to the States, you know, come on the plane. Anyways, my dad went to jail for two years when he got out of the jail. And then he met my mom later on when my dad was 29, he married my mom. She was 16 years old. Um, then, you know, they had me and they had my brother. In 1980, Fidel Castro was like, whoever is against him has to leave the country. So my dad was had to leave the countries where that's when they had the in May of 1980, they had the Marielitos, people that were the prisoners of Cuba. They were led out of Cuba. And um, at that time, we couldn't go. So my dad ended up getting a visa for us to go to Costa Rica and we went to Costa Rica. We had no money. We were staying at a convent home. Um, and from there, we took like a month. My dad made some money. And then from there, we went to Bahamas. And then in Bahamas, we were there for like two or three days. Um, this man was, my dad was like by the, uh, where they have the boats and stuff. And my dad saw this, you know, he was trying to see who was going from Bahamas to Miami. And he saw this guy, he was a Cuban guy. And the guy's like, um, my, my boat is full today, but I can come back tomorrow. Cause it was nine of us. It was my, my dad's brother wow. and, and, um, his wife and his, her three kids and my brother and I, and my parents. So the guy's like, where are you guys staying? And my dad's like, we're staying in the street. You know, we were homeless. We didn't have a place. And the guy reached in his pocket, gave my dad $400. And he said, get a good night's sleep, you know, everybody shower and stuff. Wow. And then come back tomorrow, which he was an angel, you know, $400 is a lot now. So imagine like 1980 was, it really went a long way. 1980 and, in, bah in the Bahamas at that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now nah, that goes so a long way. The, day, the guy didn't show up because it was like really bad weather, but my dad spoke to another Cuban man that was taking people and the boat was like super packed. It was, let's say the boat is for 30 people with well, 20 people. There was like 30 people. It was a little extra. And I was like freaking out. And I remember like, you know, it was like all new. We we're going to a different country. We're leaving our families behind that. Everything that we knew I was, I was five when we left in February and my birthday's in March. I turned six in Costa Rica and then we landed in the United States on April 1st. Ah, there you go. <laughs> wow. That's, yeah. That's crazy, man. See, that that's why that's why you're so humble. You know, you've you've definitely been through it all. Where it's like, you know, from literally coming from nothing to something, you know, it's like that perspective alone definitely shapes the way you think, shapes the way you act and just that's that's definitely why you have a good head on your shoulders now, why you've been able to sort of navigate the business that you've been going through. That's wow. It's all about the come up. That's what I always say, man. It's always about that come up story. That's a real. That's really good for real. Now, that's a great story. I because you know people, everybody thinks their story is the worst, whatever. But that is remarkable. Dang. Like sh shit, that's fucking crazy, man. It's crazy. I was taking uh, my first acting class in 1999 in um, in because um, I really like I wanted to do modeling, but then go into acting, which I've done. You know some stuff. Um, but in, um, in 1999, I took a class with, uh, Tracy Moore Marable. I don't know if you guys know her, but she had her class was called the spirited actor, which is so Tracy Moore. You Before, said, um, Tracy Moore. Yeah. I know who that is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I know who that is. Yeah. So, um, it was, it was great. And we had one of the things that we had to do in the class was kind of share a story, whether it's true or not. And uh, I got like a standing ovation because I decided to talk about, you know, coming to the States, how we came to the States. And funny enough, I start saying the story. Now there's like 30 people looking at me and I start crying and like bawling. But I continue telling the story. And I was like thinking to myself, like, why did I get so emotional? I mean, I've told that story so many times. And it was like, pause that two or three days before my mom showed me the little dress that I wore for like three months for, from when I left Cuba 
to, you know, when I got to the United States. So yeah. somehow that triggered that emotion. And, and when I had everybody looking at me with their undivided attention, as I'm sharing the story, those emotions came out. It was crazy. Wow. That's crazy. That we wore the same dress for three months. That's crazy. Wow. That, mm-hmm. that's, that's a great story. So shit, we Still learned that. a lot. We learned a lot. Yeah, that's that's the what they don't tell you Whoa. that on Instagram. Yeah, that's that, that's not all there. We so. learned what you would do for ten million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> hey, all I, all I said is read the contract. That's all I said. Just read. You know, read it. Look, look. You don't even have a TV. You read. She read it. I can read it too. It's that yeah, same thing. Read. She's smart. It didn't, it didn't get as far as contract because I was like, hell to no. Exactly. Yeah. After she it read like, it, that was. Like, you know what? Like I grew up poor, so to me. Anything is better than that, right? But I wasn't going to to uh, you know not be able to look at myself in the mirror. That's why I can have peace with myself. Exactly. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't go to Dubai and have people shit on me or whatever. They you do know out about there. that? See, I'm going to Dubai and have people shit on you, bro. That's what these Instagram chicks are doing. They, 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 the, the sheiks from Dubai and Saudi Arabia, they hitting them up, giving them like 30, 50 grand for two days. Come over there, do wild, crazy shit. Like, fuck their fuck they 13 year old nephew. Like she said, she, say it again. Animals, like camels. Yes. What? You got fuck the camel. The yes. camel. What? Bro. You see, y- see, that's why I don't go crazy over these chicks on Instagram because it's like, why do you think she's always in Dubai? She's always on vacation. What, by herself? Dubai's c- across the world. Who would do that? Hell would go over there by themselves. Wait. And, and, yeah. and some of them, they let be like, nah, you could bring a friend. Boom, just so they're comfortable and they pay for them to go shopping. It's wild crazy. But we know you one of them bitches, no, bro. No, all I'm saying is. You one of them bitches. <laughs> I didn't say that. 50 grand, boom, for two days. Wait Dubai. a minute. The camels is, the, is out there fucking too? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, animals, Everybody but me, right? Animals, animals. Just I don't know what kind of animals, but animals. I heard. Nah, that, that's what I. That's what I heard. I heard the camel. Like I've seen the DMs. Oh, they got all oh, the camels are in the DMs now. Bro, nah. They gotta. They gotta see. I gotta follow the oh, page. Y'all gotta follow the page on Instagram called Tag the Sponsor. The camel. Follow. Follow. Tag wow. the sponsor, and they put the DMs out there. <laughs> Yeah, hear but that? Camel's got game now. It's yes, I'm telling you, I'm being dead ass. There's no joke. I've never to heard it. of this shit in my life. Tag the sponsor yeah. on Instagram. They go to Dubai. She knows, and, wow. and I know exactly what she's talking about. Now, y'all clicked on that. Yeah, I'm just like, I didn't know. I but heard Dubai was a nice place. So trust me, I have a whole. I have a very simple, modest life. I gotta have a whole different, luxurious life. If I wanted to, definitely. And we see that but, big. And, and we see the big living room behind you. But no just TV. know it could be three times bigger. Hell, if she had a flat screen on the wall, but she but she don't because she's, nah, she, she's got money. She's spiritual. That's good. No, for real, that's a good thing. Real talk. So Vita, real quick before we get out of here, we got a segment on the show called Truth or Truth. That's where Truth. you get to like we've been asking you questions the whole episode. Mm-hmm. This is where you get to ask us questions. You could ask us anything in the world. You could ask Court what he would do for eleven million dollars. Whatever, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Whatever comes to your mind. No holes bar. Well, for fifty million dollars. Fifty million dollars. Well, clearly, what he's would doing- I do for fifty million? Fucking I would, the count. No, I would. I would read the contract. <laughs> Fucking the count. Look, ladies and gentlemen, look, read. Reading is 50 fundamental, M's, bro. Can I read the contract? Can I can I see it? I just want to see it. You know, I, I, it's always people like to talk. Read. That's what I would do for fifty million dollars. I would read. That's what I would get the hell out of read. here, man. Yeah. You on that bullshit? You you just don't want me joke on you. All right. Well, we'll bring the camel. What the camel got to say for fifty million? Okay. I want to see what the camel got to say. The camel right? want his dick. So <laughs> what? <laughs> fifty Yo, M's, bro. I'm done. Yo, get what? you that. Get you that crib you want. <laughs> get, get, you, get you get you and your whole family crib. Yeah, Is, you guys, ever get married? I don't know if you guys are. No, nah, I'm not married. Yeah, I'm no. Not. I, I, I want to get married. I'm a hopeless romantic. That's my thing. Nice. I need that. I, like I love that like structure like to know when I when I when I come home from shows that that dinner's cooking. I like I love that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's like I like I want like to old obviously. traditional way. Say it again. Right? Old traditional way, right? Yeah, I like that. I, I do my best work in a relationship. I'm no good in the streets. No, I don't do good in the streets. 
No, I need what, to know. Are you out there in the street? Nah, <laughs> but I could be. That's the thing. I don't want to know. Like, Those are the good questions. I'm one of the dudes. You don't leave me to my own recognizance. You don't do that. Okay. You tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah bust out the bigger words. SAT word. All right. So, like, I need to know. Like, I need a, a curfew because like, I need somebody to check in with, like, like a probation officer. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's where I do good. But when I'm just out, well, I don't know we, what we doing. I don't know. Come on, come pick me up. And then I'm getting home at 7 a.m. That's not good. Hmm. Well, what do you guys look for in a relationship? Since you're asking me. Go ahead, that's, buddy. That's the, what you, know, you so looking for? That's a damn good question. That's yeah. a damn good question. It's got to be somebody who's just who, who who likes you for you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody comes with a bag of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Some people Ooh. come with suitcases of bullshit. But everybody got yeah. a little bag with them, right? A the duffel bag. And in the bag comes all of their shit. Everybody comes with some. Some people got big bags. Some people got small bags. But everybody got a bag, right? <laughs> all, I, all I really look for is somebody who looks at my bag of bullshit be like, you know what? I got a bag too. Let's, 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 let's just figure this shit out together. That's it. Gratitude. Let's all pack them together. That's it. That's it. I don't. It don't matter how <laughs> big the bag is. It don't matter what's in the bag. But if you're willing to, to, to work with me on my bullshit, and you got your bullshit, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. That shit sound good. And then marriage. Uh, if marriage happens, it happens. You know, be open to anything, but it don't force it at the same time. You, you can't force a good thing. I've tried. You ever you ever try to yeah. try to force your car when it got no gas? It, it doesn't work. I tried. Shit gonna yeah. stop. It's gonna stall. Nothing happens. It has to be a mutual thing. Exactly. That's exactly. It so, got to be. Like to me, I I need uh, like I love quality women. Like women who stand for something. Like I don't want a woman in Hollywood who is gonna do whatever for a couple dollars. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. she has to stand for something on her own. She has to have some sort of morals. And then we could proceed. But that those things are not negotiable for me. Like as long as you stand for something and, you know, like I, I have famous friends. I want to be able to bring you around them and not have to worry. Yeah, that's Chris Brown right there. You better not look at him. <laughs> yes, I know he's dancing. You don't even like dancing tonight. Like that type of shit. It's like because, you know, so it's. What do you guys think of like social media and how it has had an impact on people's relationships? Because a lot of people break up because of social media. Like, what do you think? Do you think it's respectful for a man to be liking other girls' pics if he's in like a relationship with someone? So, so, so now we in the murky water here. So now we in some murky water. Uh, so <laughs> it, it, it's it's uh, context is everything, right? context you know it's how you know him that's the question that's the only question is, is how you know that person that was an ex eh, you shouldn't be liking that photo oh you went to middle school with him and he just got his doctorate from harvard okay like the picture that's no fine. you know what she's asking you what if he got a six-pack no shirt on baby oil on his chest she liked that and left a heart comment what that's what she's asking. Oh, well, that's not that, that doctorate that, shit. Come on. Now. You know what you want to know. No, nah, that's, that's, that's a problem. Come on. He got the baby oil. No, baby, no baby. Shit we, not we don't like anything with baby oil. Shining. Shine no, we, we don't know. <laughs> be shiny. No, dirty R&B singer yeah, type. Especially dude. that. You know what she's <laughs> talking about. <laughs> oh, got, yeah. No, nah, I, don't, I don't fuck with that shit. No, no. Yeah. No, nah, that's oh, the deal. Breaker. What, 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 what's there to like about that? There's nothing but, to like about but that. But what I feel like is if your woman respects you, she wouldn't even put you in that position. She would not do something yeah. like that. Like, cause it's like women think men, we just react. So it's like, so you thought about this because women think by nature. So you thought, of, you thought that was a good idea to put the hard eyes under his picture with the baby oil on his chest. And that's not. So I feel those relationships that get tested that way, they're not built off much in this it just speeds up the process. They're going to break up anyway. That's how I yeah. feel. And also, like, people think, like, the grass is greener on the other side, right? They're, like, looking at uh, all these fabricated stories, right? Because a lot of people are not being, they're not showing their true selves, right? They're showing them their highlight reel. Exactly. And then they have yep. that they're not taking, you know, they're, they're, like, so busy on the phone and, like, looking here. And not realizing what they have here. That, that, and so that, like, yeah, you know. but and, and that's just gonna speed up the process. They probably gonna break up anyway. 
R but Vita, I want to thank you for coming through. I appreciate thank you. Thank you so much. We've real. been talking thank for a while you. trying to set this up. I'm glad it happened. Thank you so I much. Know. Real quick, let I people. I hope I wasn't boring enough. <laughs> nah, nah, what? nah. You cool. No. We, you, you brought it out of him. Nah, I always thought he was a hoe. Now I know he a hoe. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Reading's fundamental. That's all you need to know. For the, for, the kid, for the children at home, reading is fundamental. Oh, hoe ass. Read. Shut up. <laughs> well, next time you get some kind of offer, maybe you'll think twice. Yeah, after I read it. But, <laughs> but yeah, you, very well said. Vita, thank you so much. For real. Thank you so a, much. It was a pleasure. Vita, let people know where they can catch you at. Um, you can follow me on my Instagram as Vita Guerra. My Facebook got deleted. Oh, they and, did. I remember you told me you were trying to get, salvage it. Yeah, still haven't been able to get it. I need I need somebody to know somebody is super high up in there because <laughs> I mean I still have the page, but it's unpublished. And you know, it's kind of like a you know, a messed up thing that I have where I let someone say that we're gonna clean up my my page and they worked with other celebrities. Um, and what they, they were doing were posting all these like swipe ups and they were making a lot of money off of these swipe ups, which then flagged me because they were like too sexy or whatever. And it wasn't even like my pictures. Oh. And now so I'm trying to work on getting that. So as of right now, Vita Guerra, um, Instagram is the only thing. I'm gonna give you a follow. Gotcha. I'm gonna give you a follow. Shit, I'm gonna do that. Shit. Yeah. Vita, thanks for coming out. This Welly's World podcast. Oh, wait, I I got OnlyFans too. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Very all right, important. All right, all right, roll it back. Roll yes, it back. Go ahead, 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 go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Only Plug fans. the OnlyFans. Go ahead. Uh, it's Vita G. Because I don't know, for some reason, Vita Girl was taken, but Vita G. The link is in my Instagram. Go and check the it out. Link the, the link is in the bio in to the, the OnlyFans. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Click on that. Uh, Vita, thank you so much. I best, appreciate Vita. you. Thank you so much again. Peace. Have a good one.